Okay, the resumption, everybody. We're back, part two. Uh, we just saw Tipper at the front and Passchendaele. Now, I'm glad to tell you all, in fact, exceedingly glad to tell... Oh, that's the horse kicking in the stable area. Exceedingly glad to tell you all that the trooper, uh, who is the chitsman, although sadly not the gatesman today, uh, is the trooper that shouted at people quite a lot last week. Now, will we get more of that? We will, 100%. If, uh, if we get transgressors, they will get in trouble, without a doubt. I say pity he's not the gatesman. Why? Because being the chitsman means you don't move. He's going to be in the archway for his two hours without going to the front. Now, I don't yet know, because we haven't seen it, what might or might not happen with the gatesman we've got over here. But hey, we haven't got long to to wait to find out so let's spend a bit of time at the front Passchendaele I can't really remember what Passchendaele's temperament is like we know Tipper is playful and a super horse for people to get pictures with so I'm a little bit sort of torn as to which of the two horses is a better option I'm thinking probably briefly uh, Passchendaele while the crowd around Tipper is so large let's see both of the horses. about being tall everybody is that there are so many uh, much shorter people here that I don't realize sometimes I'm walking into people coming out to do his rounds. Ah, this guy was right in his way then. That would have been interesting. Let's get myself out of the trooper's way, actually. Thinking about it. Okay, good. Ah, oh, damn, somebody's stolen my spot. <laughs> it's like, he's doing naughty things to the bollard. favorite Swedish brand. <laughs> what 
what's I was looking for, folks? Mints, apples, carrots. Those kids are. We see so many adults here that are terrified to get anywhere near the horse. Speaking of which, I thought it was the two that we saw before, but it's not. It's two new ones. Noise that the hoofs make, they're almost too heavy to lift up from the street. He just clops them along. My favourite type of horse, the cloppy ones. you've had this morning guys eh? honestly <laughs> yeah. 
Busier than Saturday. Yeah. Folks, uh, somebody yesterday was commenting a lot on the videos that uh, why does it always end up being uh, non British people that grab the reins as well? Uh, that was a good example of British people grabbing the reins. More importantly, don't forget, folks, this is a very popular tourist spot. What does that mean? It means inherently the vast majority of people that visit here are not British. Okay? However, in Easter holidays, and the summer holidays, when the British school children are not at school, we do see a lot of British visitors here. But typically, week to week, it's a teeny weeny amount. Uh, that's why uh, we don't see many British visitors getting in trouble. If British people right, make, jump make jump mistakes in. here, get in trouble, get shouted at, and they have many times, folks, they will go on the channel. Uh, I do not discriminate based on nationality or anything else. We have one sole criteria for appearing in the videos. Be exceptional. In other words, exceptionally nice and polite or exceptionally idiotic, one or the other. So yeah, I think that lady wasn't all there, bless her. I lucky her. I think it was her carer or her daughter who said to her, don't grab the reins. Interesting how she just tugged on it. I didn't, didn't want to let go, but there we are. Okay, I think that's our queue, everybody. Uh, actually, wait, there's one tour group coming along. Let's wait for them to get their pictures. Here they come. Uh, and then we'll go back to beautiful Tipper. I think he's a uh, free photographer. <laughs> oh, that's the chief, everybody. I think... Oh god, we had this before, didn't we? I forgot already. Lieutenant Colonel, I think. Excuse me if, if I got it wrong. But yeah, he's the uh, he's the chief on the ground here at Horse Guards. Now, I noticed today, I don't know if that tourist with the uh, tango-coloured coat has been back before I got here, but the sign is miraculously perfectly straight, which is an odd coincidence. Frozen family on the right. I'm not moving up an inch. Thank you for holding that. Incidentally, folks, we uh, we did hit 51k yesterday, but another important milestone: uh, the channel hit 25 million views. 
It's not bad, I guess. Remember the early days thinking, oh, would it be amazing if my channel ever gets a million views? Yeah, broke that. 25 million views, guys. And we're still less than 18 months old. Have you noticed, though, um, a few of you did mention in the comments that it seems that the advertisements that YouTube place in the video are more pervasive than before we hit 50k. Have any of you noticed that? Are you actually seeing more videos or more pervasive longer videos, so either more videos or longer videos, or indeed both, since we hit 50k? I wonder if it's a regional thing or a YouTube policy change or whether or not once you hit certain milestones, YouTube trusts the content so they can obviously you know sell more ads by putting their ads in my videos I mean I guess I can't really complain about it because uh, I wouldn't actually have anywhere to host my videos were it not for YouTube so they've got to make their money somehow God knows how much will that storage cost as well Turquoise is definitely the colour of the day today, isn't it? Without a doubt. I haven't forgotten about Tipper, guys. I will go back shortly. Absolutely relentless. I think the reason being, this uh, this guy's got a tour group of about 550 people. I mean, look, it's a massive group. All this lot are in the same group. And I think they all want a separate group picture or family picture within the group. Oh, Adrian's not paying attention. Oh, somebody's been shopping at Westminster Abbey. <laughs> Alright, last ones folks, and then we move. Lady Troop is really keeping an eye on people's uh, wandering hands. <laughs> God, it's absolutely terrified. Sweet, to be fair. Right, everybody. Uh, let's have a quick, a little quick snoop in here. I think we're all good. I mean, we haven't actually heard a single shout from the yard, uh, other than when we heard that issue earlier this morning. In other words, it would seem logically uh, that everyone is behaving themselves today now whether that continues or not i don't know we'll have to see won't we uh, we've got an interesting little group here so far they decided to do was salute but i think what can i say the body language speaks volumes am i right people and people sort of slouch and hang around Interesting. There's a lot of people standing behind me who, for whatever reason, haven't yet decided to go forward. Oh, here's our first lucky, lucky punter. I'm 
I have absolutely no idea which language that is. Anyone? Oh. Dog is super excited. There's a guard. This is going to be interesting. I was going to think he's going to come back in. There are too many people to go left or right. So many people actually, especially at the front. I mean, just look at this. Completely jammed. Anyway, I think they had their little moment of fun. Back to Tipper, Tipper, Tipper. If we can get a good spot, people. He's just said and done when it's this busy. Look at that. Oh, good lord. what we're dealing with. It might not look like it in front of me, but what on earth? Stupidity is unbelievable sometimes, I mean, really.
Sorry guys, it's so, so hard to, to talk there. A lot of my friends are filming and as I said, I don't always like to to have my voice on all of their videos. It's not fair. Uh, I know a lot of people comment on their videos saying who's speaking in your video because uh, it's my voice invariably getting in the background. So I'll be at this end for a little bit and then when they sort of swap around shortly, uh, I'll go back to Tipper. It's absolutely relentless at both ends today. It doesn't make a huge difference. Just that I know if something goes wrong at the other end, that trooper will shout super loudly. Uh, the trooper that's on, uh, on Tipper. Also noticed the uh, the three bros uh, in the yard that were a bit odd earlier uh, at this end. Very strange body language, actually, from that. Those three, very odd. <laughs> actually, guys, I've just seen a much better spot with Tipper. Hold on. It wouldn't surprise me at all if these three idiots are trying to get a I grabbed the reins and got shouted that video. At all. Notice the guys over there ready to film them. I said I'm wrong. Oh, the dog is still there, look. What are they waiting for? Okay, finally, Tipper's got a little bit of breathing space. It cleared out. Much better, look at this, that is much better. Poor horse, you have no space at all. Couldn't even see the light. That's how we got to the palace. Yeah, so this is, this is one official way. I'm kind of in, uh, how do we say, summer order myself everybody uh, today I finally lost the heavy boots uh, and I've decided to go with lovely light running shoes and wow does it make a difference oh here we go look oops 
<laughs> that was pretty much inevitable. Not only that, the old trooper was trying to tell her very clearly uh, not to go in there, but she just wasn't listening. It was her. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, I mean, that was uh, probably the only time this week we're going to actually capture somebody getting showered as they walk in. We know how unusual that is. It happens every day, but to actually be there, standing there when it happens is rare. Oh, a lovely moment in front of the garden. Look at this. So guys, I'm not sure if I brought my mini violin with me. I just need to check. Wait. Nope, I haven't got it. I was thinking about a little piece by Bach. fashion show coming up. No, 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 go ahead. No, no, it's okay. Here we go. <laughs> How the troopers keep a straight face when they see uh, the clowning around by some tourists is beyond me. It really is. Here we go, look. Get set the timer, looks like it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> How the hell is it true for not laughing? <laughs> I can see he's uh, clenching his fist, he's just like, guys, can you just out of here, please. How the hell did he keep a straight face through that? I mean, how is it even possible? It's just, it wasn't their fault, it's just silly. But it's little things like that that make you laugh naturally. But the trooper, nope, didn't even flinch. I guess over time you kind of get a, I don't know, you build up a certain degree of resistance or immunity toward the abject levels of stupidity that, <laughs> that you see here constantly. It's just pure, it's just silliness. It's not intentional, it's not menacing. People don't do it in, in any way most of the time uh, in a disrespectful way. It's just funny. But how do they keep a straight face continuously when they see so much of it? All right, we're finally back with Tipper, guys. Uh, I will try, bearing in mind we've only got 15 minutes to spend the, uh, the time that Tipper has left at this end, unless of course I spot something interesting inside again. Yeah, I got that, but super funny. The woman behind me right here put her selfie stick on the ground, like to take a picture and stuff, and the family all posed, but then it fell over on the floor. <laughs> in front of the guard, the whole stick. He didn't say anything, but I couldn't understand how he didn't laugh. Go again. Guys, 
fila, quando ela, quando ele sair de você. Você tá bonita? Isso aí. Um, about a week. Yeah. It seems pretty chill, but I don't know who that is. It's funny whether it's anyone else in the group or whether that group should stay closed forever now. Do you think we should keep it closed? Yes. Oh. <laughs> but, but wait, but the troop is not even in the arches. No, he just come here. So somebody was in the way. I think it was Michelle. She always gets in his way. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, I'm going to get forward a little bit, guys, because uh, it's busy again. Okay, so Chelsea and Arches, we've had people grabbing the reins. We've kind of had uh, most of what one would expect <laughs> on a typically busy morning. But it's not over yet, folks. heads going forward for Pitch with Horses today than we've seen any other day this year, am I right? Both part one and now this as well. Let's quickly with La Foto. Vamos. the lady is having with her son behind me is being picked up raised by the microphone because she's really expressing appreciation for how much hard work has gone into the horse's presentation this morning and she's right but to hear somebody actually articulate it to express it is rare so fair play to her for that oh bro wants the reins
sorry. <laughs> I'm super interested in uh, what the troop is doing. I don't know why, because as far as I can see, nothing's happened. Oh, here we go again. Another attempt at a lovely family shot. Has the patience of a saint, doesn't he? He really does. Oh, the people just can't just run off. Notice he's looking. Look, some people have got their necks craned right over the chain. Careful not to bash into anybody. So many people just wandering around. <laughs> just like drop the baby off there. Concentrate on the picture. Would this not be an absolutely golden place for the MOD or London District to set up a live cam? Capturing the whole yard. Because however much I or all the other people that film here do film here, there is so much that happens, even off camera when we are here, that it is such a shame that some of the real comedy moments that are lost forever, never to be seen again. Now they could even have a little sort of highlights website where they put up the best bits. Oh. Civilian contractor. Okay, it's finally calmed down a little bit at the front. Ability to move around without buying like before. Horsey number one, who I think uh, has had enough already, and I can't say I blame him. So we're going to stick, as I said before, folks, I did promise to the Umbwood Tipper, who hasn't today been a nipper. motion and out before people come in front of the horse. Hmm? I have absolutely no I've never spoken to him. He looks like two other people a little bit now. I've heard that in fact before, isn't it? Uh, I thought that was um I thought that was David's channel. 
guy that was here filming yesterday, really, really big guy. I, I think it's his channel. I, I know him actually, but I can't remember. He did, he did show me on his phone, but I forgot what it was. I was just saying to Abdullah before, I, I personally don't think that, that we should add anyone else into the group. I think we should just keep it. I mean, what about that? Ten of us in there? I think that's probably enough. Unless it's somebody that gets something remarkable, or, they've, or we know them, they've been here for a long time. I've noticed, though, in fact, that they are definitely, at least definitely going to have a word because he's been very, very close to following the guard around, and they really don't like that. Oh, a salute. Yeah, but to be fair, the police have said that I think to all of us at some point, they uh, don't follow too closely. Really, really busy guys in the yard for this changeover. I am mildly tempted to... Uh... Actually, yeah, I'm going to go inside for this changeover, guys. The reason I'm going to do that is that it is very, very busy, so busy that there is absolutely zero chance of everybody being able to uh, to get out of the way. Look at this, look. This is the, the kind of the queue of people watching in front of the box, all of whom are going to get moved in a minute. Police are really on it. I don't know what they're going to do about this massive number of people. Look. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go to the end here. Way, way, way too many people. The spot in front of the side is uh, is kind of available, so I think that'll have to do. Here we are. Actually, wait, I was thinking about it. I'm super interested in whether or not the gates move. He's going to have a real problem getting through this crowd here. Now, I assume they are going to change over, and I'm fairly certain that we're due for uh, a gatesman chitsman change. This is going to be interesting. Is he still in the arches? Yeah, he's still in the arches. He hasn't gone to the tunnel yet. No, even the uh, soldier there is having to push through everybody to get into their headquarters. Let's see, I can easily get back out of here to the front when, uh, when we need to, but this is really, really, really busy for a weekday. I think actually, folks, the best thing to do is going to be to be at the back here. That way, if uh, if the trooper to my right decides he needs to come out, and I think he will be going to the tunnel, as I said, there is a chance the old trooper will tell everybody to move, but there's a big jam of people here this morning. Enormous jam of people, to be honest. Oh, somebody else coming back with his lunch. How is he going to squeeze through this lot? Two or three minutes uh, until the actual train goes up. Let me have a look on the clock. That we have one minute. It's one minute to noon. Okay, our two, I was going to say new horses, I mean they are new horses, but it's the two that we had out first of all this morning, Viper and, I forgot already, Gah. Viper and Thor, folks, apologies, and we had Tipper, didn't we, and uh, Passion Bale. I 
Pepper and Thor. Thor being on the right. to my right hand side. Oh, Hellhole doesn't want to go in the box. Look, Thor's had, uh, had second thoughts. I'll stay this time. Okay, all good. Yeah, the stomp behind me is coming any moment. There it is. No way for King's Lyca! <laughs> uh, that was inevitable. It's amazing how many people just don't listen there or, or don't understand what the guard is saying. <laughs> okay, they all had their little moment there on the on film, got their little videos, so lots of smiles and laughs. The guard was patient. We know some troopers would have ploughed straight through the Taurus physically. He gave them a verbal warning, he didn't push. And to be honest, it probably was a good thing. We've got people here with uh, mobility issues and so on. Let me see if I can squeeze back, guys. One second. Let's get back uh, back to the front. Actually, wait, wait, wait. In fact, let's, let's capture the uh, the new chits, uh, yeah, new gatesman, sorry, folks, coming back out in a minute. I don't know who the, uh, who the new gatesman is. We'll find out. Okay, let's see. All right, front row seat for the train driver. Oh, we've got some, hold on a second, some laughs and smiles. Wait, why are they laughing? Can't yet see who the relief gatesman is. Well, uh, I think it's the tall fellow at the front. I hope it is. The tunnel is completely chocker. Look. Okay, so here he comes. Yeah, he's on the way out. Okay, there's not going to be a problem this time, I can tell you, because the uh, the old trooper has already told them all to move out of the way. Here he comes, here comes the guard. Perfectly executed, folks, am I right? Pretty much. He, this chap that just went in, this new gatesman, he would not have been so patient with the crowd when, if he had been the previous gatesman coming out of the archway to go into the tunnel to be relieved, he would have pushed through. We've seen it before. And uh, it is what it is, it happens. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Something to chat with the uh, person in the guard shop. Wait, what? So, so, hold on a second. There's screaming and shouting in the uh, in the stable area. A little police having a word on this side as well. I don't know what's going on today. What's this? VIP coming in or going out? Ah, oh, how about that, everybody? Look. as the train goes up.
I would ask if they could pose with the officer and he said no I'm, I'm allowed to be in the background but I can't pose with you notice he was walking back as they approached him because his colleague was on the other side hey all good? Yeah, it's been a while. I'll see you out of town. Here, busy, busy. Chaotic in here today, I tell you. Terrible. Right, folks, we have a little bit of time left. Uh, sadly, not as much as I would like. Uh, I seem to remember Thor being the more interesting of the two horses at the front. And he's at this end. The sun's come out as well now. It's quite bright and warm and busy. Lots of words being had, uh, police to troopers, troopers to the guards. So here we are, folks, plonked in front of Thor. Sure, you get that one, no? Mm -hmm. Shall we? The ah, I was right there when, yeah. when he came up. Yeah. I had a feeling because there were just too many people, it was really, really busy. But uh, they still didn't move, even when he shouted, and they still didn't move, they just stood there like, well, zombies.
Toshi she's young at heart, lovely. One second, guys, and there's a few silly people doing the uh, stomping thing. What a surprise. God on this side doesn't seem too happy that people are getting too close either. And again, see? The easiest way to deal with stupid people are disrespectful. Uh, make them believe that they're going to be famous. And then they stop. I'm generally surprised, guys, that uh, we're approaching the end of part two. It went by very, very, very quickly today. Really fast. I will endeavour, hopefully, um, during the mad Easter period, uh, to do two or th potentially even three parts per day. Um, depending on availability, if I can do it, uh, and also what the weather's going to be like. Because Easter is, uh, as I remember it, one of the absolute highlights of the annual season here. It's busy and people are just generally in a good mood. And you have so many uh, US tourists as well. If it's anything like last year, it'll be, uh, it'll be a great week next week. Uh, actually, for the week after, uh, kids, UK uh, kids have got two weeks off school. So it's uh, a major holiday. Been, uh, been a three-parter. Remember that silly little idiot who was uh, taking the you-know-what guys a little while ago? But I'm thinking it's funny to try and make the guard laugh. You know he's at work, chap, yeah? What? You know he's at work. Yeah. Can I tell not a joke, but it didn't work. Yeah, but he's a work. How would you feel if you were at work and somebody came in and tried to make you look stupid? Stupid is how you look. Idiots. They've gotten lost now. I knew they were going to call back, guys. That's exactly why I put the camera on them. I knew it. Police have got their eyes on them now. If they go back, they're going to get thrown out 100%. Comedians. No idea where they're from. Unusual accent. Native English speakers, but... Second. You're going to get thrown out. The police are watching you for a reason. Grab, yeah? Unbelievable. Okay, they've left now, guys. Just completely ridiculous. They seem to think it's funny, and the mum is with them. It's like, huh? Imagine actually having parents that are that careless of their own offspring. Sad. Anyway, they've gone now, which is good. Kind of mind reading a little bit when uh, we see people notice that they were there before I walked in they got all sheepish and walked off and the second they saw me go to the front they came back to try and make their stupid little oh let's take the piss out of the guard video morons but a nice finishing point there everybody uh, to be fair 
You see those four idiots who just came out? Yeah. Yeah, they're trying to make a video in there in the corner to make him laugh. Yeah. Obviously, I said, no, guys, you look completely stupid. I think the second they see me go, they're going to go back again. So get them. If, you, if Have they left? Oh, they went. Oh, okay, good. Okay, they've gone. I was going to say to uh, my friend here to film them if I, I'm not here. Very sheepish. Serves them right. And that should hopefully put to, war, to, uh, to bed firmly, folks, uh, that you only film certain type. I film everyone. Anyone that's stupid, where they're from, which language they speak, their religion, their nationality, their politics, couldn't care less. If somebody's had been disrespectful and stupid, and that was a very good example um, of how they were really trying, until, of course, they saw me walk over, of idiots being disrespectful and stupid and deserving uh, to be called out for that, to be quite frank. Anyway, perfect conclusion, guys, to the video. Not that I was expecting that, uh, of all the things that could have happened, but, uh, yeah, this was part two, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't see part one, that was equally fun, everybody. Uh, so for myself, um, Thor, see who we're looking at now. Oh, look, he's shy now. He doesn't want to talk to us or look at us. Yes, Thor. Bye for now, guys. I'll be back soon. Bye, folks.